what is geostrophic wind explain the relationship between barometric slope and air circulation geostrophic winds are a special category of winds associated with very fast moving winds where the winds move perpendicular to a pressure gradient force where the coriolis force balances the pgf as shown in the diagram geostrophic winds move along the isobars geostrophic winds in the upper troposphere are all westerlies and because of modifications a special category of geostrophic winds can include rossby waves and jet streams i'll suggest make two diagrams one diagram is jo physics wala hai matlab subject not the pgf force winds the isobars you can do this and a second diagram i would draw on the globe examples of theek hai rossby waves jet streams you can show jet streams separately separately theek hai all done here so the intro is over now come to the body a body kaise banao the relationship between when i when i say story line ka matlab hai what after what batao so look at my story line first box will be the two most important elements of any wind kya hota hai factors nahi what a what makes a wind a wind is what two things a yeah, moving air of course two elements or two properties are the velocity and the direction any wind is essentially is the velocity of the wind and direction both of which are related to the barometric slope both of which related to barometric slope so barometric slope is the fundamental wind generating factor i start with this so barometric slope is the fundamental factor for any wind any wind circulation because the slope decides the velocity the slope decides the direction also then however ye ek paragraph do line however because of three factors earth's rotation about its axis and earth is spherical important and number 3 the variations of the nature of the earth surface it is mountains with its oceans continents there is no one on one correlation shape of barometric slope with the wind circulation there are factors that can deviate the wind and the wind does not move along the direction of the barometric slope why because no one earth spins number 2 earth is spherical and number 3 surface ka nature varies because earth spins the direction is controlled by coriolis force also and winds can deflect from the barometric slope example of which is geostrophic winds theek ho gaya next because earth is spherical the direction of the winds can be meandering paths because of angular momentum conservation rossby waves ho gaya because the surface nature is different so winds can be deflected by mountains by relief elevations So let's start with what is geostrophic wind define it explain it show a diagram the barometric slope is the most important factor in any wind circulation the fundamental factor because the difference of pressure starts the wind from high pressure to low pressure however the wind circulations are not always aligned along the barometric slope because number 1 earth is spinning earth rotates angular momentum deflection right left bata do kya hota hai coriolis mein with examples second it's because of earth is spherical in shape so rossby waves ho gaya third mountain deflection ho gaya all done ek fourth bhi hai the rotatory motions of circulation where the winds do not directly move along barometric slope but take circular paths this is the low pressure ye high pressure this is the direction of the barometric slope but are the winds moving like this how are the winds moving the winds deflect turn and fall they deflect turn and fall they'll deflect turn and fall ye bhi ek ek variation hai and this happens because the low pressure is localized the difference of the barometric slope is very high and high speed forces the rotatory motions all done here so four ways how barometric slope is not always the only factor in deciding the wind circulations and the answer is human modifications also impact wind circulations theek hai such as construction can impact natural flow of the winds building bana diya winds will not move very smoothly 
deforestation can change the pressure gradients. Human induced temperature inversion can stabilize circulations. Yeah, human induced changes, the construction, temperature inversions, okay? where circulation patterns can change because of anthropogenic factors. It's like word here, you know. If, if you notice, if you go to some buildings, you stand at the portico, can you feel very fast, strong winds? Any portico entrance, mein jaoge na, you'll feel very strong winds. Why? Because the wind starts channeled into a narrow pathways. We call that as Venturi effect, correct? That's so when aeroplanes land, when they're tall buildings, aeroplane will have a lot of problems. Because the wind patterns have all changed. Venturi, yes. V-N-T-U-R-I. Venturi effect. When there is funneling effect of the winds. Okay? So, does the barometric slope impact? Yes, it does. But circulations are modified because of other factors. Global warming is changing the barometric slopes. Example, kya batao? The pressure gradient between equator and the poles is changing. So the upper troposphere winds are becoming slow. The polar vortex becomes slow. Slowing down of polar vortex. Tropic what shift of polar vortex. Arctic amplification are examples where barometric slope has been compromised. Changing the patterns of, yes, blocking, correct. Blocking is because of that, correct. Let's try a second question. Let's see. This is beyond a syllabus, but let's see. Explain the characteristics of weather conditions associated with anticyclones. Explain the characteristics of a weather conditions associated with anticyclones, giving suitable examples. Itna samaj me aara cyclones ka opposite hoga anticyclone. So whatever you know about cyclone, usko reverse karo. As simple as that. Now wait, first tell me, what are the characteristics of a cyclone? When you talk about any circulation, uska kya characteristics hai? How will explain it? Explain in terms of pressure pattern. Explain in terms of wind movement. Explain in terms of rainfall consequences. These three will tell you the characteristics of any system, correct? Cyclone, central low pressure, strong gradient, rotating winds, anti-clockwise northern hemisphere, clockwise southern hemisphere, rapid rising air, strong clouds, heavy rainfall, disasters. Exactly opposite. Anticyclones, localized, central, high pressure. They rotate clockwise in the northern hemisphere, anti-clockwise in the southern hemisphere. It is convergence and sinking winds from upper troposphere. Cyclones mein kya hoga? Convergence and rising winds from the surface. In anticyclones, converging winds, sinking air and divergence at the surface. So pressure patterns, what type of circulations, how they rotate, how the winds sink or rise, and what about the climate conditions, calm conditions, cloudless skies, dry conditions. Examples, subtropical, okay, high pressure anticyclones, Sahara anticyclones, dry conditions, Californian high pressure in the winters. Cold land, again sinking air, calm conditions, prominent in the high latitudes. But okay, answer is done. I would draw two diagrams. The first is, what is anticyclone? But I would begin a story a bit more. Atmospheric circulations are not linear winds alone. Circulations include planetary winds, local winds, and importantly, rotatory wind systems like cyclones and anticyclones. While cyclones have converging air at low pressure and rising currents, anticyclones have converging upper tropospheric air, descending currents, and surface divergent systems. So you tell me now, why did I start a bit more indirectly? Why? Because I don't have enough points here. Is the points enough? Hai? I'll hit the points straight away. Jahan points nahi hai, I will want to play around with some words. No? Like, ek page bharna to chahiye mera. That's your smartness. Two, three lines. So atmospheric circulations are very complex systems. They are not linear wind systems always. They include planetary winds, local winds, upper troposphering winds, and importantly, there are also circulatory wind systems that include cyclones and anticyclones. While cyclones are uh, low pressure systems, rising air currents, and associated with violent weather conditions, anticyclones are high pressure systems, descending air currents with stable climatic or weather conditions. Okay? So that's the introduction. First, introduce the way I told you. Second is draw the two diagrams, cyclone and anticyclones. And if you want, you could probably have a couple of points here. Rotation, heavy rainfall, dark clouds, rotation, sinking air, Cloudless skies, calm conditions. Now you'll give a heading. Characteristics of anticyclones. Jolikha points me. Now you will elaborate on this. Number one, they're associated with 
high pressure conditions. The high pressures may be dynamically induced or they may also be thermally induced high pressure. Dynamically induced high pressure systems are like subtropical high pressure areas, okay, sinking air currents as in the Ferrell's model. Thermal high pressure conditions like the North Poles, like the Siberian high pressure areas because of intense cold surface conditions in the winters. So, characteristics are their high pressure systems. Number two, strong high pressure centers force circulations. But circulations are clockwise in the north, anti-clockwise in the south. Do line likha. And show the diagram. High pressure, low pressure. Air is going out. It is kind of moving like this. Air is moving out, not straight. It kinds of moves like this. Not going straight, it kinds of moves like this. So ultimately, this moves in this pattern. Show this as anticyclones. Northern hemisphere, because of deflection towards the right in the north. Okay, those line okay. The third one, sinking air conditions associated with calm weathers and stable atmospheric systems. Typically, in strong temperature inversion, you have talked about pressure, talked about the wind directions, and you have talked about the conditions created. Three points. Now move towards what are the weather consequences. So in general, anticyclones, diverging winds, calm conditions, cloudless skies, dry conditions. So the weathers are dry and rainless. It can cause deserts such as the tropical deserts, Sahara. Two lines on that. Second, anticyclones are good conditions for source regions of air mass formation. The best source regions linked to anticyclone high pressures are Banao world map, parab, Siberian CP air mass, Canadian CP air mass, Hawaiian Islands, high pressure, empty air mass, Azores, high pressure, empty air mass. What type of weather? And then you can write that these, these well-developed air masses of the winters can move, interact with other air masses, creating fronts and associated weather changes. A good one and a half page of a diagrams and write up. Conclusion. Now, one is that human conditions can induce strong high pressures, such as those associated with urban heat island, causing disruptions, which we have got. Smogs, fogs, pollutants get trapped, dry conditions, droughts, the polar vortex may